What is the meaning of this? I can't believe I'm saying this guys Welcome back to my channel It's been such a long time By the title you guys know exactly what we're doing today We're doing the PLT times Ella Thomas edit Everybody say yeah I put 10 and a half And when Ella dropped her PLT collection I just had to grab it I more or less ordered the whole collection I'm pretty sure I spent around 500 pounds. So I'm really trying to get into my fashion bag. I want you guys to come along on this journey with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get straight into it. Ella, you did not need to do this. I always say that every single girl needs to have like a simple black dress. This is the Bandu Ruffle Body Con Dress. I love this like detailing on the bottom. It makes this like really girly. I think you can just pretty much wear this to any occasion. Party, dinner, friend's birthday. It's very, very figure hugging. I'm gonna give this dress a 10 out of 10. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Hold on, let me do something quick. Because I'm always getting bigger sizes so that the arms of the jackets can fit me, the midsection becomes too big. Makes me look like a hot air balloon. Yeah, I've just tied that in the back with a hairband. Now, I'm messing with the outfit, yeah. Let's get into the outfit, guys. The jean material is kind of thin, though. The main purpose of this is the fact that you get that look. Get the London look. I got my top in a 12, and I got my bottoms in a 10. This is where the trousers are coming up to on me. Past my ankles, but not completely to the floor. You do have to wear it low rise if you want those jeans to really come down to the floor. So I'm going to give the whole set a solid eight out of 10. Only an eight because if the material was just a bit thicker, then I think I would have loved it. Nevertheless, chef's kiss. And we've got this butterfly asymmetric kind of ruffle dress. Are you guys actually seeing what's going on? If you are a bit uncomfortable with your clothes being see-through, then this sort of outfit is not for you. And this fits my arm. Put this in a size 10, but I would definitely say size down. I'm usually like an eight. I would definitely get this in a six because of how stretchy the material is. This one is another 10 out of 10 for me. Actually, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 just because of the girlies that they don't really like their clothes to be like see-through. I don't mind, so for me, 10 out of 10. If you're trying to keep it cute, trying to keep it somewhat classy, get some nipple shields just so that you can be a bit more comfortable. It's definitely an outfit that you wear into the cab to your destination or you get in a car. Anyway, let's get on to the next outfit, guys. Can we get a moment for this outfit? I got the top in an eight and then I got the skirt in a size 10. But it is stretchy. I could size down and get a six. Every single piece I've put on has made me feel good. I'm giving this outfit a solid 10 out of 10. And she's just me and I'm her. I'm that extra babe that will show that leg. Like I'm not afraid. Oh, this is kind of cute though. I think I just did something, guys. Okay, off first impression. I'm not really too fond of it. When I saw it on her, it was giving her jaded moment that she had, you know, the jaded two-piece that she wore on the show. That is what this is giving. I don't know, maybe it's the material. I don't know if you guys can see, but the material is quite thin. Maybe because the outfit is not body hugging, I'm not feeling it right now. This top in a 12, and I got the bottoms in a 10. Come on, this, this was supposed to be giving jaded London. It would have been nice if the buckles crossed over. This is a very affordable jaded look. I should have definitely got a six. All I will say is that the material is kind of on the thin side. I would definitely tell you guys to size down. I want to give this a solid seven out of ten. Let's go on to the next outfit. So whoever the every deliverer was left the parcel outside in the rain. Someone go and chat to every because they need to sort that out. Let's get into the details of this outfit. So this is the chocolate brown gold detailed ring two-piece. We've got that extreme split on the side. I got the top 
in a size 8. The 8 is too small for me, so I would definitely size up if you're going to get this top. And I did kind of like struggle to get it over my head. The arms aren't really coming down that long on me, so the 10 would be way better so i got the skirt in the 10 and the 10 is just perfect i would not size down in the skirt the top is a bodysuit so even though it does have an extreme split on the side you do have a piece of material covering all your private areas these splits do not make me feel uncomfortable in any way shape or form i'm cheeky no pun intended but this would be great for a club night given this a solid nine out of ten i used to be a nine like early babe told me shut it down shut it down thank you for thinking about the tall girls because we be struggling let's get into the outfit i love everything about this the quality is 10 out of 10 and it is a cowl neck and it does come like this so i just decided to like kind of tuck it in top is in an eight um the material is quite stretchy so i wouldn't size down in this you still have to get this over your head and it doesn't come with a zip or anything so i would definitely say get your actual size let's get into the cargoes people you need to wear it low rise like you couldn't wear it um high-waisted because you can see that um it's given ankle swingers but if you wear it low rise the way it drops on your feet is perfect i got these cargoes in a size 10 and the size 10 fits my waist like ridiculously perfect it fits my waist on my bum nicely they need to be able to see that you got an s when you're wearing them cargos oh it's got these gorgeous pocket detailing so you can put your keys in here you can put like a mirror some lip gloss hey with a trouser like this you don't actually need to go outside with a bag you can just fit everything in your pockets. So I'm going to give this whole outfit a 9.5 out of 10. But I think just the simple fact that the cow neck does this. Yeah, I don't understand it. But nevertheless, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is a gorgeous design. So 9 out of 10 for this outfit. Let's get into the next one. It's a faux washed leather micro mini skirt set unfortunately for me i don't know my sizings i would definitely say for this size down items are sold separately if they don't come as i said you need to get the top and the bottom the 10 is too big i would definitely grab this in a six so that it can fit me just like this i got it in a 10 and i did adjust it in the front here to try and make it a bit tighter but it still wasn't tight enough aside from the fact that the skirt is too big for me this is gorgeous I love everything about this from the split to the way the material feels this isn't stretchy on the top I would definitely size down though I got an A I just feel like with outfits you need to be wearing the outfit the outfit cannot be wearing you the best way to get you to wear the outfit is to make sure that everything is fitted which is why I love sizing down on like slinky material so it can actually hug my figure this with those ego boots you know the ego boots with like the tassels coming down with like some shades and a cute mini bag if the skirt isn't smaller than a belt is it even a mini skirt i'm gonna give this outfit a 9.5 out of 10 the only reason why i'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because of my own human error by getting the wrong size but i love 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 this two-piece guys take a look at it from the back and do you know what i love about this skirt it's short in the front so it's a proper mini skirt but it's long enough in the back so it actually covers your bum they really thought about the big booty girls here i think i got this set in brown so if i do have it in brown that's going to be the next outfit you guys see i know i said that in the next clip it was going to be the same two piece that we had in the last clip but now that I remember, I actually got this skirt with this top because I think this is how Ella paired it in her edit. I got my top in an 8 and I got my skirt in a 10. Definitely say this is true to size. I feel like on the top, I'm an 8 and this 8 fits me perfect. Bottoms, I've got this in a 10, but I would definitely get this in a 6. My only thing with this top is this situation going on over here. I wish this was all already intact. As I don't know if anyone's noticed, this hairstyle is definitely inspired by Ella. Next up, we've got this stone tie front detailed 
two piece. I got the top in an eight and I got the bottom in a 10. Definitely fits true to size. I would not size down in this. It is a bit stretchy, but it's not as stretchy as the other materials. Got this little like detailing with the strings here. And you've got this cute little cutout on the side. I'm not really a fan of like cutouts, but I can deal with this. This isn't crazy. This is just a little cheekiness on the side. I'm really here for it. It does definitely come with some length as well. It's not exactly sweeping the floor. It goes down past my ankles and I think past my ankles is good enough for me. This is very, very figure hugging and I love it. It's making me look like I got a fairy in the back. Wow, you've got a good ripple going on. Mm -mm. I'm going to rate this a solid eight out of 10. This is one of them outfits that you like wear once and then you don't wear again. If you're that babe that doesn't like repeating your outfits, then this is not your staple piece collection. We have this basic white crop top. This really isn't for the big boob girls. We've got this khaki crop print wide leg trouser. What? Ella said tall girl friendly. This with a heel would be so nice. I got this in a 12 and this would have been perfect in a 10. This is just an all rounder stylish trouser. I'm giving these trousers a 10 out of 10. This is Ella's padded chocolate brown trousers. It's not necessarily my favorite. It's, it's something about the ruffle in this area here that I'm not a fan of. It doesn't come with any pockets. Yeah, I think that for me makes it lose brownie points because I love putting my hands in my pockets and I just can't, I can't get it in it's not really for me flattering other than that don't get me wrong love 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 the design overall i would give it a 6.5 out of 10. i've never ever had a biker jacket in my wardrobe hold on how illegal is it that i've been doing this collection without wearing the infamous ella versace glasses it's giving sexy uh, uh, it's giving sexy. Uh, uh. I got this jacket in a size 12. This is quite big though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like biker jackets should fit like this. The arms don't completely go all the way down to my wrist. Nevertheless, this is still gorgeous. I would wear this out open anyway, so I don't mind the oversized fit. Can you see that there's a bit of thread hanging out over there and over here? So you would want to cut that out if you were to get this jacket. I'm giving the whole edit overall a solid 9 out of 10. That is how good this edit is, guys. I'll put all the links and the sizes down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. How can I lose if I'm already chosen? Like if she feeling hot, then I make up a rose and I get up and say every time that I post, damn. The party not lit, then I'd rather not go.